Now, how is everything going to get split up? So the easy answer is looking at the Florida statutes and you know, 61.075, and that is equitable distribution. So what that translates to is sometimes people will think, oh, well, an equal division, sometimes equitable isn't necessarily equal. You know, they're not going to take a car and cut it in half. They're going to um, try to, you know, this, you know, Husband gets a car, wife gets a car. Husband takes this, wife takes this. Wife takes this account, husband takes this account. This debt goes here, this debt. The easiest way that makes the most sense. You know, equitable ideally is 50-50, but sometimes it, it, it may not be. And then there's also an unequal distribution based upon different uh, circumstances as delineated in the statute. So um, the way that Florida splits everybody's stuff is, you know, for the most part, in a fair and equal way, um, and, uh, you know, in a way that makes sense. So, you know, if you, if you, if you have two dogs, you know, because, again, animals are considered property in Florida, um, you know, one person gets one, one person gets the other sometimes, uh, because uh, they don't do time sharing of, of, of animals here in Florida, but, you know, that's just, again, the... The debt issue sometimes can be a little bit more complicated if there's nothing to kind of counterbalance it, and especially if both people are on the hook for it. But uh, these are different things that uh, to speak with your attorney and to go through our website, wfoleylaw.com, has more information on uh, distribution of assets and, and liabilities and the equal distribution statute. So if any questions, please ask an attorney. Um, a little bit over my time on the two minutes apologize sorry about that but uh, this is an important question because it comes up a lot